All right, Frank's clues, David's clues, Nathan's clues. Let's go David, since he probably has the least. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there's a specific number of clues to select. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. All right. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? The lighthouse as well. That's very interesting. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. If I have to link th three things here, it's got to be these three. Hey. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Twilight Zone. Hmm. Or... Who does this car belong to? SXF69. It's definitely not this wow, one. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. That's definitely Chloe's car. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. I'm glad Warren got his revenge. Can't really see the license plate. Oh, actually, we can see that there's tape on the left tail light. Which means it's not Twilight Zone, it's this one. Okay, duck. So what one is that? It's... S X for X Nor. Hmm. Who else was David tracking here? Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Yep, another car David was tracking. Hmm. Okay, what's this one? Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. I can still investigate more, right? Like, that wasn't it. Because I don't want to be chasing fucking Nathan. Okay, good. That's only one piece of it. Alright, so that part's done. Now we just need Frank and Nathan's clues. Nathan's going to be the most fucked up, so let's get that out of the way. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Oh, that's true. GPA 3.7. I think it would likely be a birthday. But would it be his birthday? That seems a bit... Easy. 
This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? That's what I'm thinking. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Hang on, what's this? Five, four, two. Oh, three, three, seven. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Hmm. 8 p.m. It could be. I think it's more like this fucked up drawing. <sighs> Fail. Abort. Nope. Wrong clues. Okay, so we're looking for a number for his phone. I knew this would be the most fucked up one. Um. There's numbers in here. There's numbers here. Actually, what if I select the phone as well? Maybe eat this. Okay. Yeah. Nice. All Let's right. Blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. All right. He's circled these numbers. So what's that? Nine five three five. I could try that. Bad code. Damn. So even that circled, it's not the right one. These all seem like random numbers. Rachel. Could be linked to her. SIM card. Right. Surely, surely he changed it. He didn't he didn't have his phone left at one 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 one, right? Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. <laughs> All right, okay. Okay. Let's try his birthday then. August 29th, 1990. Is that a five or a three? It's a five. Go on, buy that one. What? He's so young. All right, August 29th, 1995. Actually, that's my brother's birthday, I'm pretty sure. It is. It's his exact birthday. Okay, August 29. You locked it, dumbass. Oh, shit. But, oh, that's a lot better, actually, because I have the puck code here. Oh, God, it's such a fucking long number. Oh, I feel like I should write this down somewhere. I'll put it on my phone. Booyah! Boom! Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Puck code for the win. I doubt that any of those numbers were actually the pin code. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. <laughs> no, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm going to study the board and try to connect all these dots. All right, last Let's piece. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Hmm, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. All right, codes. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... I, 
I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. Or protect her. So... What happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. Can we get some research on what uh, what Max is? Max Caulfield, born September 21st, 1995. September, star sign. Well, okay. She's a Virgo Libra, which means uh, she's not a Leo, because Leo, star sign, dates, that is not the same birthday. Yeah, okay. So that's not right. Well, she could just change her birthday. I don't know. I'm starting to think they're two separate entities, but of the same person, if that makes sense. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Okay, good. That's one. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Hmm. Oh, there's only two. Right. Well, all we need is this, right? Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Okay, Nathan's the rot. So, as for the Vortex Club, is Logan a part of the Vortex Club? He's a Labrador. So they're all dog names. I didn't realize. Hmm... I think it's mostly Nathan, but I'll keep an eye out for Logan. So, Rotten Labrador. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Here's one, Rot. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Hmm. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. There's more rot. Alright, well... Oh, yes! These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Oh, Nathan. Get ready to fucking die, bitches. Oh dear. What the fuck? How does he have his phone? I have his phone. <laughs> Can I actually go downstairs? Is that a thing? No, I can't. Damn it! Now I really regret doing that because now I don't even know what the fuck was the point of that was. Oh well, I was an asshole for a moment. Take a breath, Max. What is this? Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Okay, I'm looking for ones of Kate, I guess. First things first, I'll look up here. Um, this could be the one. It's late. It said after the party, right? Okay, this is him going crazy. No time. Or it's this one, got to party tonight. It's not that one. 
Ten four five twenty seven. Let's try it. That's gotta be it. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor, rich Nathan. Not much out there. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So, he could be hiding clues there too. It could be this time. But, look at this place. I think this is it because of the trailer to be honest. But then again, this matches up too. This is like goddamn math. I suck. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the place from the trailer. So I'm looking for 10.3 at 5.40 or 10.4 at 10.56. It said after the party for us, so I think that one's more likely. 10.56. 10.4. No, wait. What? <sighs> 10 4, 10 56. There you go. The one where he's in a rush. Okay, so it is. I was right. Okay. The other stuff was pre party shit. So 10 4, 10 56. So this infamous party was the fourth. There you go. So there's another clue that I overlooked. 10 4, 11 o'clock. There it is. There it is. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. This is a long episode. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. I am on this. Somebody named Harry Aaron... Prescott. <laughs> there you go. I'm shocked. Bingo. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. <laughs> I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Interesting they left the computer screen open. Could mean trouble.